we're going to demonstrate how to prone a patient on the same surface using a Z slider. So this would be manual application and this is only recommended for your smaller patients. Recommendations for additional personnel. One at the head of the bed for airway and line management and up to two or more on each side to manage fully. Any other drains or equipment and checklist as applicable. I'm going to take a regular pillowcase to secure the patient's arm to his torso so that it doesn't wind up getting caught underneath the patient while we pronate him. And during the pronation, I'm going to also monitor the other arm to make sure it the same doesn't wind up underneath the patient's torso. What we're going to be doing is getting the Z slider. The arrows are going to be pointing laterally, sideways on the patient, so that um, we can get underneath the a draw sheet, shift the patient as far as we can to one side of the bed, and then a bicep curl to get the patient turned. We'll explain more in detail as we do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pillowcase underneath the patient's torso. As I said, this is just to secure the arm and prevent it from being caught. So it goes under, over, and under again. So on this side, we're gonna take the draw sheet and fold it over some. I'm not manually turning the patient, I'm just providing uh, a hold here so he can place the Z slider underneath. I'm going to take the Z slider and place it underneath the patient. If you push down and under, they slide under the patients pretty simply. You're not looking to get it completely under the patient, just a good amount. Another alternative for Z slider placement is to log roll the patient side to side. I'm going to cross the patient's legs in the direction of rotation. The Z slider is a push pull transfer device meant to slide a patient of any weight and prevent lifting. Now that we have the patient to the edge of the surface, I'm going to take another draw sheet and a Z slider. I'm going to place the Z slider underneath the initial draw sheet. I have the arrows aligned laterally and I'm going to take another draw and put it underneath the initial one. So once Hector has completed the pronation, then we'll be able to use the new Z slider and draw sheet to get the patient properly centered on the surface. Okay. Alrighty, got his arm. Excellent. Gonna remove the old Z slider. Gonna remove the old draw sheet. Straighten out some of the Z slider here. And then pull through the new draw sheet. And then we can center the patient. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. There we go. After completion of patient repositioning or transfer, Remove the Z slider from under the patient. Arms, head, and hips should be supported to maintain proper alignment and avoid pressure injuries. This completes the process of proning a patient on the same surface using the Z slider. A heartfelt thank you to all the frontline workers from all of us at Ansel during these challenging times. We will get through this working together.